Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I'm going through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. And yes, Yubnub's reading a Nancy Drew book. But while he's reading that, let's stick with our comic books here and let's go into the next thing you should read by Dark Horse Comics. This is written by John Ostrander and it is called Twilight. It took place in Star Wars comics issues 19 through 22, and it introduces some of the greatest characters in the Star Wars universe, which in my opinion is Quinlan Voss, his Devorian friend Vili, and Aya Secura. Now in this series, uh, Quinlan Voss has lost his memory. That's how he starts out. Uh, and of course the story picks up from there because his apprentice is trying to find him. They're trying to figure out what happened to him. You don't even know what happened to Quinlan Voss. Who is Quinlan Voss, you say? Fantastic character. You saw him. There's a picture of him. I think he was sitting with Sebulba in episode one uh, because George Lucas was a big fan of this comic book series. He loved Quinlan Voss. Of course, A.S. Secura is in episodes two and three, but Quinlan Voss is also mentioned in episode three. So even George loved this series. I'm so happy he did because I love this series. And this is weird because Quinlan Voss doesn't seem to be a character I would like. When I first saw him, the pictures of him, I was like, oh, geez. It's going to be one of those Indian Jedi who can talk to the earth or whatever. I, I know it was going to be kind of hokey, spiritual, whatever. And man, was I wrong. It is so good. And Vili, the Devorian, has got to be one of the most hilarious characters in the Star Wars universe. I don't have a top five, but if I did, Vili would definitely be up in it. He is a great character. Folks who talk about Knights of the Old Republic, you talk about, hey, that was a really good mix. Man, another great mix is Quinlan Voss and Vili. Quinlan Voss is all serious, yet Vili is hilarious, and they balance themselves out perfectly. Should you read this series? Yes, you should. I don't know if you, why you haven't already. There is an additional uh, kind of aftermath of this storyline written by John Ostrander that was in the Dark Horse Comics Extras. These were little paper magazines that I think cost like 25 cents. They weren't that big. And it was called Heart of Fire, and it was in issues 35 of 37, and it basically deals with the healing process for Quinlan Voss. Now, to be honest, I used to collect these when they came out of my comic book store. When I was doing my study for this review, I discovered that I do not have those issues in my collection right now. I don't know where they went. I know I have them. I have other issues of Dark Horse Extra that have feature Star Wars comic books, but I do not have that one. So I don't know where it went. Thankfully, the omnibus, uh, uh, The Menace Revealed, has that Heart of Fire story. And so I bought the omnibus copy for that reason. Folks, Heart of Fire is three pages long. But I didn't have it. I, I used to, but I don't anymore. But I have to have it. So I went and bought the friggin' trade paperback <laughs> just for three comic pages because I had to have that story. And plus, I love Quinlan Voss. Now, is it necessary for the further adventures of Quinlan Voss? No. It is a total, regular, not that really important, okay story, but just talks about the aftermath. Not really anything big. He's at the Jedi Temple the whole time. So, but I had to get it. I had to have it because I love Quinlan Voss. So do you have to read it? No, you don't have to. But if you love Quinlan Voss, ah, eh, it's just a little extra and there you go. That's where it fits in the storyline. So the next one that you read is called Infinity's End by Pat Mills. Now this came out in Star Wars comic book uh, issues 23 through 26. It is about Quinlan Voss as he goes to investigate a mystery on Dothamir. Uh, and it mentions uh, in this series, the one I found interesting, it mentions a star chamber. Star chambers are ancient technology by the Kwa, K-W-A, uh, an ancient civilization way back in the day. And I wanted to hear more about that. That kind of piqued my interest. It is a little weird, uh, but Infinity's End is great because Quinlan Voss has this Jedi ability that's so unique, and I love his ability. He can touch objects like... For instance, if I touch this Nancy Drew book, 
and you could feel what happened in the past, Filoni really likes this cover. Huh. Anyway, so he has the ability to do the same thing. Just pick up an object and kind of feel its past and whatever. Such a cool and unique idea that had never been uh, discussed in any book or comic book previously. So Quinlan Voss is not only a cool Jedi, but he has this great background. Now he's still suffering from the memory loss and his past history and everything, so he's still trying to deal with those issues as well. So basically it's a continuation of the previous storyline focusing on Quinlan Voss. And by the way, folks, I love Coyote Monday, and when his story ended, I was a little upset. But when Quinlan Voss took over, whew, the bar got raised on that series. Fantastic. So, of course, I've been raving about it. Yes, I love the comic book series with Quinlan Voss. Anything Quinlan Voss, two thumbs up. And uh, Aya Secura, I love her too. I know I haven't talked about her that much. I do love her too, but she's got lots of love on the internet already. But Quinlan Voss, man, he is fan friggin' tastic in this series, and you got to get it. All right, folks, that's all the time I have for today. I will see you next week with another video.